for you guys so i'm gonna do my skincare right now and i figured i would do it on camera i haven't showed you guys any updated products that i've been using for a while now these are the products that i use in the daytime my nighttime skincare routine is different because i do add a retinol and then i also add a like thick sleeping mask so those products are different these are just my daytime ones i'm gonna start with my vitamin c serum this one is by pharmacy i really love it it's the very cherry bright vitamin c serum it and i just put this all over my skin what is this vitamin c is really great for brightening up your skin so i always make sure to apply this my beauty room is a mess by the way like it is a horrific mess i'm gonna try to clean either today or tomorrow because i hate seeing it like this and i haven't been wanting to get ready here because it's such a horrific mess <laughs> my facialist told me a while ago that i should be including a hydrating serum that has hyaluronic acid in it when this one does so that is when i first started using this product and i've been through like three bottles of it now i think and i really love it i think it's making a difference in my skin because i don't know i feel like my skin is pretty decent and every time i get a facial they always tell me that my skin's pretty good the next two products I apply are actually both by Murad. The first product is my eye cream. This is their Renewing Eye Cream. I know you're supposed to like lightly tap, but sometimes I don't. Sometimes I kind of smooth it over. Before this one, I was actually using a different moisturizer from Murad and it was from the same collection. So I figured it wouldn't be too bad to jump into this one. This one is their Nutrient Charged Water Gel. This one is really great if your skin needs moisture, but you don't want it to be too heavy on your skin since it is a gel look how pretty this looks it's like a pink gel and i honestly am not scared of moisture even though my skin is on the combination oily side this winter it has been so dry like every time i wake up in the morning my skin instantly feels dry every time I come out the shower my skin feels dry sorry i have a mirror over here that i'm looking at oh my god this one feels so good and then the last product that i always add in the daytime is a sunscreen this is by murad also <laughs> i love murad skincare it's very very important to protect your skin from the sun even in the winter you are still being exposed to the sun so i always make sure to apply this i think that's pretty much it i don't think i'm forgetting anything for my daytime routine i think this is it I'm gonna start blow drying my hair right now. I think the only product I'm gonna apply is this product by Bumble and Bumble. This is the Invisible Oil Heat Protective Primer. I really like this because it's a heat protectant. It also primes your hair. I'm trying to see if I look orange in this lighting. All right, I just got back from the mall. I had to go to Sephora because I wanna film my everyday makeup routine and I really wanted to pick up a foundation that I pretty much am obsessed with from there and I got the wrong one accidentally basically the foundation that I love is the Armani luminous silk foundation I purchased it for the first time during the last VIB sale not the one that just passed but the one before that I think like the one that they had over the summer or before summer um, and I fell in love with it so I went to go pick up another shade and I went to go pick up another shade I was starting to do my makeup and all of a sudden I look and I'm like, wait, this can't be right. Like, this looks light and it also looks orange. And lo and behold, it was a wrong shade. And I put it on all over my face before I really noticed. Because I just, I was kind of in denial. I was like, oh, maybe it's going to, maybe it oxidizes. Maybe that's why I thought this was my shade. I don't know. But, and then I also picked up the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder. I have been wanting to try this forever now. And I completely forgot to pick it up in the last Sephora sale I don't know how I forgot but I saw it today and this little powder is so damn expensive so I really hope that it is mind-blowingly amazing it had the, the, it had really good reviews I got the shade number two they only have three shades they have fair medium and dark I got number two which is the medium basically this is like a perfect finishing powder for your look it's supposed to give you an airbrush finish which i'm all about airbrush finish and i just feel like the combination of these two is going to be pretty amazing so i got this and i'm very excited to use it it's pretty too and then one other thing that 
I got from Sephora recently, not today, I got it actually a few weeks ago now, and I mentioned it in my last video, is the Fenty Beauty Lip Balm. This lip balm is so amazing. I'm not going to put it on now because I have lip gloss, but the applicator is basically like a lip gloss applicator, so it's easy to put on. It smells good. It smells really good. And it's super moisturizing on the lips. So I just wanted to recommend that to you guys because I've really been loving it. All right, so the last store that I stopped by, actually, I went to Zara and I didn't find anything I liked. I actually want to return this coat that I got. If you guys follow me on Instagram, then you might have seen me try on the coat. And I looked like a sumo wrestler in that coat. Like it was so unflattering that I had to go return it. And I thought I was going to just exchange it for maybe something else that I like, but I did not like anything at the store today, which is very unlike me. I usually always find something at Zara. Also went to Bath and Body Works. Wanted to pick up a candle because I keep buying candles at Home Goods, but they don't all work. Like they're not all strong enough. Like I got this one, this one at Home Sense actually. And it smells really good, but I feel like when I light it, I don't smell it in the home. Like I only smell it if I like go near the candle. And for my candles, like I want it, I want my whole, I want the whole house to smell if I have a candle on. So I decided to go pick up a candle. They were $10 off today. So I just decided to take advantage of that. But just a little, little advice for you guys. If you do want to buy some candles at Bath & Body Works, their candle sale is coming up. They do this only once a year. I believe is the weekend of December 7th this year. But basically, it's just one day where all of their candles are only $8. So I always take advantage and buy my candles on that day. And they'll usually last me all year round. Ooh, sorry. Um, but last year, I don't think I got any. And if I did, maybe I only got like two or something. Because I remember I went to the store and I hated all of the scents that they had left. Like, not even left. Like, I, I think they purposely only put out the crappy scents. Because all they had left were those scents that smell like food. Like, you know, the ones that smell like pancakes and chocolate cake. I smell the candles today that smell like chocolate cake. Like, literally just like chocolate cake. But I don't want my house to smell like food. Because then I'm just going to be hungry all the time. So, I didn't get any last year. So, what I did today was I smelled all of the candles. And I wrote down the ones that I like in my phone. That way, if they don't have the candles that I like in store this year, I'll just order the scents that I know I like. So that was my plan. But I ended up getting a candle today just to hold me off until the candle sale. You are such a nosy baby. The scent that I got is Rose Water and Ivy. I love this scent so much. Oh, it smells so good. It's just like a clean scent. I discovered this scent when I purchased it in one of the Wallflower plugins, which I got some more of today. Because these were on sale also. So I ended up getting five of these and I got all of them are rose water. And oh, by the way, the candle scent is rose water and ivy. Did I say that? Yeah. Um, and literally, I just bought five of the same um, wall plugins because... I want the house to smell cohesive. I don't want it to smell like one area, smell like one thing, one area, smell like another. So I just got all of these like this. I think I'm going to put two of them in the bathrooms and then the rest in the living room. Um, but yeah, that's all I got. I'm definitely going to be picking more of this candle up in the candle sale. And then this is super random. I got this a couple of weeks ago and I forgot that I bought it. I just found it again in my kitchen for some reason. Um, but this is from Target. This is in their little like $1, $3 section when you walk in. And it's just a pair of, what's well, the three pairs of Christmas socks. But I'm like, wait, I can finally wear these. Oh, this is cute. Okay, so this one is Peppermints. Max thinks it's for him. And then this pair, it's like a mint green. It looks really pretty. And it says Holiday Cheer. And then the last pair has little trees like little Christmas trees three dollars target I'm gonna go clean now I have to clean the beauty room because uh it is such a mess and I really want to film a makeup video tomorrow so I'm gonna go clean that today
this weekend i'm gonna try to find a women's shelter because i would love to donate products to them because i not only have makeup products i have skincare i have um, body products like body wash bars of soap i have body lotion so i would love to be able to donate a bunch of stuff so excited to film now i'm gonna film a makeup video tomorrow i cannot wait i feel my my videos come out so much better when everything is like beautifully clean and ready for me to film otherwise i just get really annoyed and i don't want to do anything but everything is laid out really beautifully so these are pretty much the main everyday products that i use so i rotate them every once in a while depending on what i'm trying what i'm loving new but this is what i'm working with right now i also laid out some new products here that i want to make sure that i try oh my god i was swatching these while i was cleaning and they're so gorgeous i'm gonna open it up for you these little pots are by mac and i don't know if you could see but the product looks like it's velvet it's like fluffy and it even feels fluffy like if it was velvet in here it's like this gorgeous fluffy i don't know what but i'm definitely going to use this in a makeup tutorial very soon it's from their new holiday collection which is called i think it's called shining star or something like that um but these are really really beautiful so i definitely want to um, work with those morning guys it is a brand new day actually i've my day started a pretty long time ago i woke up early to go to the mall and exchange the foundation so i got my correct shade now and i'm getting ready to film i gotta grab an sd card a new sd card you know what? i'm just gonna bring the whole thing with me because i don't know which one is blank and which one isn't so i thought i would show you guys kind of like a behind the scenes on how i set up to film because it is a whole process i wish i could just sit down but i feel like everything needs to be just right um so this is my setup right now i need more lights by the way i feel like my videos uh, my sit down videos will look a lot better if i added some more lights so uh, hopefully this year i will get more lights last night i laid out everything that i pretty much wanted to use i have to bring out the new foundation in a second but i pretty much laid out all of the products that i want to use i have my beauty i already wet my beauty blenders i always have a cloth here because i like to put it here to avoid any messes because otherwise this gets pretty dirty i'm actually going to bring one more and place it here um and then this is my sd card holder i got this from amazon like so long ago and um these are the sd cards that i use for vlogs for my vlog camera and then these are the ones that i use for my dslr camera so i think okay i think this one should be clear i'm gonna check it out when it comes to my camera, I have this Rode mic at already attached to the camera, like on this end. It's already plugged in, but the thing is you have to make sure it's on. So that means it's off, and no matter what time I'm going to film, I just turn it on. Like, that's the first thing I do so that I don't forget because there... Okay, why isn't this focusing? There we go. There have been times where I forget to turn this on, and I film an entire video without audio so i just make sure to always have this on i check on the battery life of the camera so right now it says i have a full battery and then this is my backup battery depending on how long i'm going to be filming for makeup videos i usually take pretty long i will have this charging just in case i run out of battery perfect that one is charging now and I can just quickly exchange the batteries and I don't have to wait for anything to charge. I'm gonna turn my light on so that I can get an idea of, look how pretty that looks, so I can get an idea of what I want to do with my actual settings. I'm not so great at settings, guys. I watch videos in order to master this camera, so that's what I recommend you guys do if whatever camera you have. Just look up like what settings it should be on for videos and the only thing i switch up is the lighting because depending on what time of day i'm filming i usually need to make this brighter or darker see like right there it's too dark because it's it's early in the morning so it's way too dark to have it on that setting so i think i'm gonna leave it at 80. so you know how yesterday i grabbed the wrong foundation shade well today i grabbed the wrong lipstick i'm so upset because i actually wanted to wear this today <laughs> um 
I picked up one of the Artist Couture glosses and at the store I specifically swatched I think the color was called Shameless I'm looking at it online now I think I meant to grab the color Shameless and I grabbed the color Climax instead and this is more like a topper like it's like a sh it's very pretty I actually really like it and this is very me I might actually keep it it's so pretty I might actually keep it and go back for the other one but I wanted the other one because the other one was more like of a actual lip color ah, whatever I'm gonna keep this one it's really pretty but I might go back for the other one but I just really don't want to go back to that mom. I'm so annoyed. So I am ready to film. I have a glass of kombucha because it gives me a lot of energy. So I have that here that I'm going to drink while I film. I also put my rings next to me. Because my hands just get so dirty and I wash my hands while I'm filming. So I just rather put them on at the end. I have my earrings on. I think I have, I think I have everything. I think we're ready to film. So I'm going to start filming and I will see you guys at the end when we're off done up and just like that our makeup is done i already finished filming but the last thing i need to do is actually get a photo for my thumbnail i uh, sometimes i will grab like a screenshot of the footage from my camera but that doesn't always work out so i like to have a backup i'm gonna try to take some photos with this camera this is my sony a55 what is it sony a5100 is it even charged Do I have a backup battery? I usually have backup batteries for all of my cameras because things happen. Yay! Okay, this battery was charged. I'm going to take some photos with this. I have a little mini tripod here that I'm literally just going to put in front of me here. And we're going to get this thumbnail photo. Huh? Alright, so it's been a few hours. I took... Ooh, sorry. I just turned the lights on. I took a little break after I finished filming to make some lunch and I went to the grocery store and now I'm heading into my room to lay out all of the clothes that I've been purchasing I placed an order on pretty little thing I still haven't even opened it and then I picked up a couple of things from H&M because I want to film a little haul for you guys oh sorry the lighting is so bad <laughs> I want to film a winter style kind of haul for you guys so I think I'm going to do that on Monday. So what I like to do, this is another side of like how I prepare to film my videos. What I like to do with try on hauls is I like to lay everything out and hang it up at least the day before I'm filming. That way, like today, I'm just ready to film and get everything done. If anything needs to be steamed, I can steam it now and just get everything ready. I'm just going to lay everything out and then we'll hang it up and I'll give you guys a little sneak peek as to what's going to be in the try-on haul. So I ran into a little problem. <laughs> I completely ran out of hangers. I only have one hanger left so I just hung up my pair of jeans that's going to be included in the haul. Basically this is everything that will be in the haul. I'm actually going... Hi. <laughs> I'm actually going to go to either Marshalls or HomeSense and just buy a pack of cute hangers it just in case I decide to include the what is this called oh my gosh what are you called rack wow I'm losing my mind just in case I want to include the rack in the background of the video I can have cute hangers on all the clothes so I think I'm gonna buy some cute ones but I just wanted to give you guys a little sneak peek I know the boring stuff is on top because I don't want to give it all away but we have a little some fun stuff going on too I think the vibe of this haul is going to be like a cozy winter haul yeah I think that's kind of what the haul will be that's what you guys have to look forward to I don't think anything needs to be steamed I pretty much looked at everything but I'm just gonna leave it hanging there until I get hangers for it tomorrow come on Bring your toy, baby. Let's go. Come on. Let's go. Oh my God. So cute. By the way, do you see that empty space right there? I did order a uh, tree skirt. After my friend watched my last video when I was decorating, she sent me a bunch of things from Amazon actually that I could order to include for my decoration. So I ordered a tree skirt. So that should be coming, I think, tomorrow or Monday. Um, so yeah, I won't look as 
basic down there because it looks pretty pretty basic right now i just wanted to give you guys a little behind the scenes on like how i film my videos how i prep for them little things that i like to do that i feel make the process a lot easier and how i prepare like the day before to film a certain type of video but if you guys have any other questions regarding to how i film or just anything specific let me know and i will answer in the comments for you um i'm gonna go and take a shower and get in some pjs and we are going to relax already i put on my peppermint socks to match my pink pjs tonight these are probably like my favorite pajamas of the moment i got them as a gift from a Too faced event that i went to when i was in la it was Too faced and moo moo but i'll try to look for them and link them i feel like they must be selling them i wasn't sure at first if it was just like a gift or if they're actually selling these but i think they might actually be selling these but they're just super flowy and so comfy and just so pink and girly i also slathered my skin with skincare i like to do that after a day of wearing makeup all day so it's saturday night i know i'm having a wild saturday night uh, but chris is at work he he's getting out late today so it's just me and maxi tonight but he's off tomorrow and he'll be off for a couple of days so that'll be nice we'll get to do some stuff I'm going to grab a little bit of wine to and have a little glass of wine on this fine saturday evening by myself and we're gonna watch a little tv and just relax until chris gets home oh you know what i want to show you guys a red wine that i've been liking i always drink white wine or rosé i don't or champagne <laughs> i don't like red wine but i found one that i really like that my dad actually put me on to Maxi, can you please stop? I'm trying to vlog, honey. Still have alcohol in my fridge from our engagement party. And you would probably, th if anybody opened our fridge, they'd probably think like we drink way too much. But I swear it was just like all the liquor everyone bought. Um, so anyways, this is the wine that I really like. It's a red wine and it's like the first red wine that I really like. It's called Camina Tempranil Tempranillo from Spain. I will try my best to actually find it for you guys because it's really, really good. Pause the video, take a screenshot, and show this bottle to your local liquor store. That's what I do to find it. I always just like show a photo of it and I'm like, do you have this wine? And they know exactly what you're talking about. Do you guys know that I still don't know how to open like a regular bottle of wine? Not that I don't know. She's like, I never have to because of, oh, whoa, I just poured myself a really tall glass. Okay, that's fine. I just, there's so many bottles now that come like as a twist off that that's all I know. All right, guys, I'm going to end this vlog here. Thank you so much for joining me and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. Mm.